德国总理默克尔、美国前国务卿希拉里共同跻身福布斯全球最具有权势女性排行榜前十名。有人称她为“铁娘子”。作为国际货币基金组织的首位女总裁，她带领 IMF 应对欧洲主权债务危机，推进 IMF 份额和治理改革，让中国等新兴经济体拥有了更大话语权。如今。刚刚成功连任新一届国际货币基金组织总裁的拉加德，在二零一五年人民币成功进入 IMF 特别提款圈。二零一零年 IMF 份额和治理改革方案终获生效，中国从排名第六位一跃成为 IMF 第三大份额国之后，接受了对话的独家电视专访。面对当前充满不确定性的全球经济，他如何看待经济学家的危机预言？作为国际协调人的拉加德，又如何看待中国经济在全球经济中所扮演的角色？从花样游泳选手、律师、法国财长，再到如今的国际货币基金组织总裁，作为女性，她又是如何实现人生中一次次华丽转身？本次对话独家专访国际货币基金组织总裁克里斯蒂娜·拉加德，敬请关注。他跻身福布斯全球最有权势女性排行榜前十名。作为国际货币基金组织的首位女总裁，她带领 IMF 应对欧洲主权债务危机，让中国等新兴经济体拥有了更大话语权。面对当前充满不确定性的全球经济，她如何看待经济学家的危机预言？作为国际协调人的拉加德，又如何看待中国经济在全球经济中所扮演的角色？本期对话独家专访国际货币基金组织总裁克里斯蒂娜·拉加德，敬请关注。大家好，欢迎各位收看我们今天的对话。二零一六年刚刚开年，可是全球经济似乎已经笼罩在了阴霾当中了。大家可以看到的是，全球股市下跌，石油价格下跌，国际大宗商品价格下跌。当市场上这样一件一件糟糕的事儿出现的时候，其实人们内心的恐惧心理似乎也在不断的增加。所有人几乎都在问同样的问题：是不是又一轮全球性的金融危机正在酝酿当中呢？今天我所在的这个地方正在发生一件全世界都在瞩目的事情，那就是二十国财长和央行行长的会议。因为人们都在期待着能够从这里传出的声音，帮助处在低迷当中的世界经济开出一张振兴经济发展的药方。待会儿即将走进我们节目现场的这位嘉宾，更是被很多人认为可以帮助推动和带领世界经济走出阴霾的不二人选。他就是国际货币基金组织的总裁克里斯蒂娜·拉加德女士。拉加德女士是国际货币基金组织历史上的第一位女性的总裁。在过去五年的时间当中呢，她领导着 IMF。帮助应对了欧洲主权债务危机，同时呢，他也推进了国际货币基金组织的份额和治理改革，让中国等一大批新兴体的国家在这个组织当中拥有了更大的话语权。如今，站在世界经济发展的一个关键的十字路口，在拉加德女士成功连任的这一刻，关于世界经济的未来，关于中国经济的走势，关于老百姓的钱袋子，我们有许多的问题要问，我们也期待着他给出的答案。二零一一年夏天。债务危机肆虐欧洲，国际货币基金组织前总裁斯特劳斯·卡恩因性丑闻下台。七月，拉加德临危受命，成为 IMF 自一九四五年成立以来首位女性总裁。迎接她的并非光鲜的头衔，更是接踵而至的各类危机。仍在做困兽之斗的欧洲，遭遇银行大恐慌的塞浦路斯和局势错综复杂的乌克兰。随着各种主权经济危机此起彼伏，拉加德和他领导的 IMF 在世界经济中所扮演的角色愈发举足轻重。今年二月十九号，国际货币基金组织宣布，执行董事会再次选举现任总裁克里斯蒂娜·拉加德连任总裁职务，他将从今年七月五号开始新的五年任期。作为这一职务的唯一候选人，拉加德获得了 IMF 执行董事会的一致投票支持。在拉加德截至目前为止近五年的任期内，他相继领导 IMF 应对欧洲主权债务危机，推进 IMF 份额和治理改革，让中国等新兴经济体拥有了更大话语权。面对近期频繁出现的全球金融动荡，这位铁娘子将如何继续推动全球治理改革，令人倍感期待。Welcome to our program, and first, congratulations on your reappointment.、Uh, if you are asked to evaluate your job in IMF for the past five years,、uh, the first score, of course, 100. What will be your score? We, at the IMF, we measure lots of things, but I would not like to actually measure myself. I would rather look at what 
we have achieved collectively as an institution over the last five years. And uh, I, I believe that we have uh, strengthened the institution. We have made it more credible. Uh, we have made it more representative of the global economy. I think we have uh, given it a voice which is listened to around the world, whether we do um, surveillance, policy advice, uh, whether we uh, provide technical assistance or whether we uh, uh, help countries in difficulties. I think the IMF matters. 国际货币基金组织，简称 IMF， 与世界银行并列为世界两大金融机构之一。其职责是监察货币汇率和各国贸易情况，提供技术和资金协助，确保全球金融制度运作正常。总部设在华盛顿，资金来源于各成员国认缴的份额，成员国享有提款权，即按所缴份额的一定比例借用外汇。同时，成员国有义务提供经济资料，并在外汇政策和管理方面接受该组织的监督。与世界银行以减少贫困和提高生活水平为己任不同的是，国际货币基金组织主要为陷入严重经济困境的国家提供协助。比如，对于严重财政赤字的国家，基金可能提出资金援助，甚至协助管理国家财政。但受援助国家需要进行改革。Yeah, you have to face a lot of unimaginable pressure. Being an international coordinator, your work uh, may be even harder than the past five years because nowadays uh, the global economic growth is slowing down with uncertainty and potential finance risks ahead. So, do you feel so stressful nowadays? The job is stressful, and uh, the world economy is constantly facing challenges. What I believe is different today is that we have probably less exchange in terms of trade than we did in the past, and a lot more exchange in terms of financial links. So the the economies are very strongly interrelated, but probably more so in terms of services, more so in terms of capitals. And probably less so in terms of of goods. And I think it makes the job a bit more complicated because of having to gather data, mm -hmm. assess flows, uh, move a bit more in the intangible rather than the tangible. And because technology is impacting all that and is going to continue to change all that, so the imperative of adjusting to that new reality. Makes the job more um, more complicated. Yeah. Well, let's focus on Chinese economy. 北京时间二零一五年十二月一号凌晨一点，国际货币基金组织正式宣布，人民币二零一六年十月一号加入 SDR， 距离上一轮评估历时整整五年。IMF 终于批准人民币进入 SDR。IMF 总裁拉加德在发布会上表示，人民币进入 SDR 将是中国经济融入全球金融体系的重要里程碑。这也是对于中国政府在过去几年在货币和金融体系改革方面所取得的进步的认可。SDR 及特别提款权也被称为“纸黄金”，是国际货币基金组织分配给成员国的一种使用资金的权利。会员国在发生国际收支逆差时，可用它向基金组织指定的其他会员国换取外汇，以偿付国际收支逆差或偿还基金组织的贷款。还可与黄金、自由兑换货币一样充当国际储备。人民币入篮成功的信号意义重大，将提升人民币的国际认可度，增加人民币的国际化速度，表明中国的经济实力被国际社会所认可。在与拉加德女士对话之前，我们特别采访了一些中国的企业家，其中红杉资本全球执行合伙人沈南鹏最关心的是人民币汇率的问题，一起听听他的问题。关于人民币的汇率的问题。我想问拉扎德先呃女女士，到中国来访问以后，对人民币的信心有没有比以前更加强烈 ？You know, now that the renminbi is in the、uh, SDR basket,、mm. it is part of that very exclusive club of five currencies,、mm -hmm. which are considered as internationally、um, traded,、uh, usable、mm -hmm. around the world、mm -hmm. uh, between central banks. And I think it's a very strong statement of the international community、mm -hmm. uh, through the IMF to the Chinese authorities、mm -hmm. uh, that being a member of the club、mm -hmm. gives you、um, 
a privilege and a set of responsibilities. And uh, it, it really goes back to the point I was making earlier. Mm -hmm. Given the size of the Chinese economy, given the strong interconnections between the various economies of the world, mm -hmm. the renminbi is one of the attributes mm -hmm. of that role. Mm -hmm. And therefore, uh, its um, relationship vis-a-vis -vis the other currencies, mm -hmm. the way in which monetary policy is defined, the way in which exchange rate is mm -hmm. organized, Mm -hmm. uh, and, and defined and how that is communicated to mm -hmm. the rest of the world mm -hmm. is extremely important mm -hmm. and, and I think it is the responsibility of the, uh, of the authorities to, uh, um, to deliver on that and mm -hmm. to respond to the expectations of the international communities mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm sure that they will do so. 来自全球其他国家的经济学家如何看待中国经济在全球经济生态中所发挥的作用呢? Well, the Chinese economy now is the second largest economy in the world and on some measures, for example, purchasing power parity, uh, you know, virtually equal with the US. So China is a, a linchpin economy in the, uh, for the global economy. And more than that, uh, it of course has become uh, the epicenter of global financial market attention. Why is that? Well, it's the second largest economy, but it's growing faster than the largest economy, the US, and has been for many, many years. So that means its contribution to global growth uh, is the biggest of all the economies. So from that vantage point, it's the most important. On December the 1st, 2015, uh, IMF announced officially that the RMB will join the SDR mm -hmm. on October the 1st, mm -hmm. 2016. Mm -hmm. Why is it so difficult for RMB to join SDR? What are those obstacles? You know, the decision in principle has been made mm -hmm. uh, on, on December 1st, 2015. Yeah. And essentially a technical issue that we assess. Mm -hmm. And then there is a judgmental aspect to the decision. So on the technical front, the Chinese authorities have complied mm -hmm. with all the criteria, all the requirements, uh, all the tests that were needed for the currency to be in that very exclusive club. Mm -hmm. And the judgmental part and the, the confidence expressed uh, by the international community mm -hmm. to the renminbi mm -hmm. uh, was determined on December the 1st. Mm -hmm. The reason why we have that time between mm -hmm. December 1st and October 1st mm -hmm. is that the central banks of the world have to actually adjust their um, internal mechanisms or the internal mm. um, system in order to uh, include the renminbi in the in the basket mm -hmm. but there is every reason in the world to believe that mm -hmm. on october comes october 1st yeah. the renminbi will be traded and exchanged mm -hmm. between central banks as one of those mm -hmm. currencies you had mentioned last year that you didn't believe renminbi fully met the standard of freely used. So at that time, many people thought it would be very, very difficult for renminbi to join SDR. And then at last, you expressed very clearly your support for renminbi to join SDR. Mm -hmm. Why? Because in the meantime, between the initial assessment mm -hmm. and uh, the October 1st decision, mm -hmm. many decisions were made, many uh, changes took place in order to meet that criteria of being usable mm -hmm. on, on an international basis. Mm -hmm. And we checked very carefully and we worked very closely with the Chinese authorities yes. mm -hmm. in order to um, make sure that that was the case. Uh -huh. So after Renminbi joined the SDR, what kind of role do you like China to assume in the international finance? As I said, uh, being a member of an exclusive club Mm -hmm. where currencies essentially have confidence in each other mm -hmm. uh, gives you right and responsibilities mm -hmm. and in the categories of uh, category of responsibilities mm -hmm. uh, having a clear well communicated mm -hmm. uh, monetary policy having uh, financial controls and supervisions mm -hmm. in order to uh, keep the stability of your uh, of your markets mm -hmm. uh, is also uh, important and expected mm -hmm. of, of currencies like that. that. That's what the Chinese authorities are going to, uh, to have to continue doing. 在与拉加德女士对话之前，我们特别采访了一些中国的企业家。
其中，中航工业集团董事长林佐明最关心的是中国在全球货币政策制定过程中的作用。一起听听他的问题。目前，货币政策已经成为稳定全球经济健康发展的重要基石。那么，在作为全球第三大经济体的中国，您认为应该如何进一步发挥在全球货币政策制定过程中的积极作用？ This year is clearly an important year for China, given that it is uh, the pre president of the G20. Mm -hmm. He, as uh, head of uh, the central bank of, of China, plays an important role mm -hmm. in not only determining the monetary policy of China, mm -hmm. but also discussing, coordinating, uh, consulting with his colleagues from the United States, from uh, the Eurozone, Uh, from from the great from Great Britain from Japan, mm -hmm. in comparing what they're doing, assessing the outcome of uh, their policy decisions, the determination of the G20 uh, at the last meeting reaffirmed by all members, mm -hmm. not to enter into competitive devaluation, mm -hmm. not to enter into um, uh, currency mm -hmm. decisions that that would be predominantly driven by domestic. Uh, economic interests mm -hmm. is a statement to the fact that everyone needs monetary predictability, financial stability, mm -hmm. and the support of currencies to uh, uh, to continue to to trade, to exchange, and to and to prosper. 国际货币基金组织总裁拉加德在对话肯定了中国在全球货币政策制定过程中的积极作用。那么，来自全球其他国家的经济学家又是如何看待这一问题的 ？China's role in international finance has lagged its role in international trade,、uh, but the inclusion of the RMB in the SDR basket, of course, is a very important symbolic step、uh, along that. Process of internationalisation of the RMB, internationalisation of the financial system in in China, and with the leadership of the G20 process, it was interesting to be in Shanghai last week to be on the edges of that process. Clearly, China has arrived on the global financial stage as an important player and voice. 在今年一月二十号到二十三号召开的二零一六冬季达沃斯论坛上。全球各路大佬都对中国经济未来的发展情况分外在意，并做了详尽的讨论。对于中国经济放缓的担忧，主要来自外汇储备的减少、股市的大跌和负债的不断增加。数据显示，中国2015年第四季度 GDP 增速将至2009年以来的最低，上证综指年迄今跌了近百分之二十。二零一五年，中国外汇储备下降五千亿美元，为一九九二年来首次全年下跌。一向不看好中国经济的量子基金创始人乔治·索罗斯曾表示：“中国经济出现硬着陆是几乎不可避免的，将拖累全球进入通缩。而经济出现严重下滑的俄罗斯，其财政部副部长马克西姆·奥列什金曾判断，美国市场将崩溃，中国经济将硬着陆。”那么。拉加德对中国经济有什么样自己的评判 ？I agree with one assessment, which is that the Chinese economy has grown so much、uh, and is playing such an integral part of、uh, economic relationships in the world through trade, through、um, uh, investments. That what happens to the Chinese economy in all its dimensions? Actually matters to the rest of the world, and will continue to matter. So we are all in the same game and strongly interconnected. But I disagree with this proposal that there will be a hard landing,、uh -huh. because I I believe that the Chinese authorities、uh, are very professional, very serious in their intent, and do want to smoothly move from that quantitative growth. Uh, that has been necessary to develop the country to a more qualitative growth,、uh, which implies slower growth. That you know, business of of hard landing is is not something that they want to see happening. They know the consequences that it would have, 
and I think that they will take the right decision to uh, avoid that. And they have the, uh, the weapons, the ammunition to use some terrible uh, warrior's language uh, to respond to such a situation. Well, we're not, again, we're not looking for a hard landing. What would a hard landing be? Maybe 2, 3, 4% growth uh, or even worse uh, you know, in the next one to two years. For, to get a hard landing, you really need a couple of things happening. First of all, the economy needs to be on the trajectory towards a hard landing. And then secondly, policymakers either uh, have to fail to uh, respond to that uh, trajectory, or if they do respond, the policies don't really work. So to get a hard landing, you need to go through a couple of hoops or stages, essentially, of uh, economic and policy failure. We think that uh, there is more momentum probably in the Chinese economy, uh, in the service sector, in the urban areas, and to the extent that the economy is slowing in some areas quite sharply or has slowed, policymakers do have sufficient ammunition uh, to counter that. So we're not looking for 7% or 8% growth, but something in the low sixes uh, we think uh, is quite doable in China. It's a massive economy that, you know, going to at some point down the road be the number one economy in the world. And, uh, you know, they're huge in terms of automobile sales and computer and telephones and everything. So, you know, they're, they're uh, a force to be reckoned with. And uh, any, any international company that's not aggressively seeking to do business in China is missing the boat. And what do you think of China's stock market? You know, it can surge all the way up in the first part of last year mm -hmm. and then tumbled down mm -hmm. uh, and constantly breaking the record of one day decline. 2014年7月开始,我国股市出现了一轮过快上涨行情。至2015年6月12号,上证综指上涨152%。深成指上涨百分之一百四十六，创业板指上涨百分之一百七十八。然而，二零一五年六月十五号至七月八号的十七个交易日，上证综指下跌百分之三十二，各类杠杆资金加速离场，国募基金则与巨额赎回，期现货
less of a casino ha attracts less gamblers uh -huh. and, and more sort of long-term investors mm -hmm. uh, who are looking at financing mm -hmm. uh, the Chinese economy, mm -hmm. which will be v very good, by the way, for the financial system as a whole, because mm -hmm. then the private sector in particular will be able to rely more heavily on the stock market than it relies on the banks. Mm -hmm. So everybody can, can play their part. And in the middle of last year, you have made uh, remarks that the Chinese economy can resist the, the influence of the stock market. Do you still hold this view? I think the Chinese authorities have the, uh, the, the decision power, mm -hmm. uh, the authority and, uh, and certainly the, uh, the means mm -hmm. uh, to, uh, to respond to those situations. And apart from the stock market, the RMB is another focus. Uh, of the world. 多年以来，习惯了人民币升值的中国老百姓，似乎被岁末年初的这波人民币汇率变动吓到了。数据显示，从二零一五年八月以来，美元对人民币汇率已经从六点三八变动到六点五七，汇率变动幅度达到百分之二点九七。对于正在调整的中国经济来说，人民币汇率变动无疑将刺激出口。去年十二月，中国出口实现正增长，这与人民币汇率变动不无关系。与此同时，监管层也在考虑人民币汇率变动可能带来的资本流出对中国资本市场以及房地产市场的影响。汇率变动还会持续多久？新汇率时代会把我们带向何处？老百姓又要如何保卫自己的钱袋子？作为国际货币基金组织的掌门人，拉加德对此又将有怎样的回答 ？Well, I think it's a question of whether the RMB has fallen or the U.S. has、uh, appreciated, and and everything is a reflection of.、Uh, the the strength of the economy in the respective countries and、mm -hmm. there is no doubt that the U.S. economy has strengthened,、mm -hmm. uh, is in a, in a recovery mode that is uh, uh, appreciated by the investors.、Uh, mm -hmm. They move money around fast, and when a situation like that、mm -hmm. occurs anywhere in the world, money goes in that direction. It has an impact on the value of the currency. I think that's what we have witnessed.、Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that it's actually the right measure、mm -hmm. to.、Um, Constantly,、uh, you know, associate the RMB with the U.S. dollar. I think、mm -hmm. the the、uh, monetary authorities have been very clear now、mm -hmm. that、uh, the, the the measurement that they use is、mm -hmm. a basket of currencies、mm -hmm. within which the dollar plays a significant、mm -hmm. role.、Mm -hmm. But it's not just relative to the dollar;、mm -hmm. it's relative to a group of currencies.、Mm -hmm. I wonder if you have heard a very special group of people in China. They are called Chinese 大妈 <laughs> They They always went to the U.S. to buy some gold and something like that.、Uh, maybe next question I will ask will be on half of them. Do you think is it time for them to exchange the U.S. dollar? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not. I'm not a, a financial advisor, and I would.、Uh, <laughs> I would not. I think the best is always to hedge your risks. Mm. And to and to be a、uh, to be on the side of、uh, of more balance than、uh, excessive risk. 拉加德上任以来，不仅推动了国际货币基金组织份额和治理改革，使得中国从排名第六位一跃成为第三大份额国，而且还努力促成人民币成功进入国际货币基金组织特别提款权，显著提升了中国在国际货币基金组织的话语权。酷爱中国茶的拉加德对茶叶可以说已经迷恋到了无法自拔的地步，特别是绿茶和红茶。以至于在描述经济状况的时候，也会用茶来做比喻，认为两者都需恰到好处的时机与诸多因素的共融。他曾经说过：“中国经济是一杯茶，轻冲慢泡将带来更隽永的回味。”而在二零一五年北京时间十二月一号凌晨一点，在宣布人民币加入特别提款权这个关键时刻，拉加德特意穿戴了具有中国元素的服饰参加发布会，以显示出这个时刻的重要意义。那么，他又如何看待如今的中国 ？You have been to China for more than twenty times. What impressed you most? The change. The change. The, the great change. change, right? You know, I remember、yeah. more than、uh, I remember twenty years ago, actually,、mm -hmm. visiting Beijing and、uh, the、right. thousands <laughs> of bicycles、wow. on the streets.、Mm -hmm. The fact that、uh, people in the hotels. Mm -hmm. um, we're never smiling. The fact that in Shanghai,、mm -hmm. um, Pudong was landfilled,、yeah. and a couple of buildings、mm -hmm. with big roads and no cars. So in 20 years, the amount of change、yeah. 
the jump into um, a much more urban society, mm -hmm. yeah. very developed, very intensive, mm -hmm. is, is just mind-boggling. Mm -hmm. I hope that in 20 years from now, the issue of safety, environmental protection, health, will have changed uh -huh. uh, equally rapidly uh -huh. as uh, urbanization has developed in the last 20 years. Actually, we also found a change on you, yourself. 1956年1月1 拉加德出生于巴黎他在诺曼底的山际间度过自己的童年上中学时他学习花样游泳并成为了国家队队员十五岁时还在法国游泳锦标赛斩获铜牌一九八一年拉加德在巴黎加入世界著名的贝克麦
，拉加德身上无疑压着千斤重担。According to Oxford Economics, if global stock market falls by an average of 20%, it will cause global GDP to fall by 1%.、Mm -hmm. Are you concerned about this? I would certainly、uh, prefer it to go up by 1% than、uh, down by 1%.、Mm -hmm. But I also believe that、uh, policy makers,、mm -hmm. decision makers,、mm -hmm. have in their hands the ability、mm -hmm. and I hope the authority as well、mm -hmm. uh, to grow、uh, the economy、mm -hmm. uh, by more than 1%、yeah. and for the benefit of, of the people.、Mm -hmm. So I see our job at the IMF as. Helping policymakers、mm -hmm. uh, to go in that direction、mm -hmm. and to work positively, constructively together、mm -hmm. uh, in order to really uh, leverage uh,、mm -hmm. the potential that all the domestic economies have,、mm -hmm. provided that they are guided in the right direction.、Mm -hmm. And here I want to show you some judgments made by those、uh, very famous economic experts. 量子基金创始人乔治·索罗斯曾表示，全球市场正面临着一场危机，金融市场遇到了严峻的挑战，让我想起了2008年危机时的情形。摩根士丹利经济学家斯蒂芬·罗奇说，负利率政策只会加剧金融市场的不稳定，将引发下一轮全球经济危机。They all mentioned the phrase financial crisis. Will that be so serious? 面对二零一六年的全球经济开门黑。世界金融中心的华尔街的专业人士也提出了他们对于世界经济未来形势的看法，并做出了相应预测。The global economy does have some headwinds. Uh, uh, I don't see any huge crisis coming from any of this, but you know, recessions are possible. Many countries around the world are in recessions, but countries are now responding. The concerns that we believe is that global growth, while decelerating. Uh, will not likely approach、uh, contraction. We still believe that、uh, global growth will likely approximate three、uh, to three and a half percent. Unfortunately, it won't be even.、Uh, there will be a number of economies that will experience considerably lower growth and remain likely in, in recession.、Uh, those economies would be the more commodity-sensitive、uh, economies,、uh, most notably in the emerging markets. Uh, they will continue to face very difficult headwinds.、Uh, we do think that、uh, we'll continue to see、uh, evidence of growth、uh, from the larger economies and the more developed economies. 在这样的形势下，万众瞩目的 G20 财长和央行行长会议将会在未来采取什么措施来提振世界经济 ？You know, many many people have high expectation、uh, on this G20 meetings of finance minister and the central bank governors. So, what consensus did all those countries reach in this meeting? Are you satisfied with that? Well, first of all,、uh, I think that the the Chinese presidency has done a very good job. Mm -hmm. uh, for the first meeting of the finance minister and governors of the、uh, largest, the twenty largest economies of the world,、yeah. mm -hmm. and I'm not saying that to flatter China, but、mm -hmm. because the focus that they put on、uh, these structural reforms、mm -hmm. that are needed、mm -hmm. 
in the global economy mm -hmm. and at each and every national level of the 20 economies around the table was spot on. Mm -hmm. The fact that they have also focused on the international financial architecture. Mm -hmm. Do we have a good international safety net? Mm -hmm. uh, are we well equipped to deal with the next crisis that we will have yeah. one day? I think that those two key issues um, mm -hmm. were very welcome. And during the G20 meetings that yeah. took place in Shanghai um, on the 26th and 27th of February, mm -hmm. the finance ministers really talked about those issues, mm -hmm. uh, focused on how they can use structural reforms mm -hmm. to strengthen their economies, mm -hmm. how they can do that in a coordinated fashion. And we at the IMF really m helped move in that direction yeah. where we are going to do more work mm -hmm. as required by mm -hmm. the Chinese presidency. Mm -hmm. So for yourself, do you have the confidence to lead IMF and help the world to get yes. out of the rage of yes. <laughs> yes, yes is the course. <laughs> <laughs> for three times. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I know you have pushed a lot of uh, quarter and governance uh, mm -hmm. reform uh, in your first tenure. So what kind of reform would you like to make uh, in the future in IMF? We have to continue to constantly adjust. Mm -hmm. uh, by that I mean, you know, as the global economy is going to continue to shift mm -hmm. towards a more multilateral, a more multipolar economy where China will play a greater role than mm -hmm. it had in the past, mm -hmm. as some of the emerging markets are also hopefully going to evolve, mm -hmm. the representation of those economies will also have to, uh, to adjust within the institution mm -hmm. and um, will have to respond to that. Mm -hmm. In the future, I would like the IMF to be more focused on preventing crisis mm -hmm. than remedying crisis. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a result, I think we need to strengthen and leverage our surveillance activity and make it as client-focused as possible, as member-focused as possible, mm -hmm. drawing on all the forces of our institutions. Mm -hmm. I would like the IMF to be making more and better use of all the knowledge accumulated over the last few years because we are the world experts yeah. in crisis management and mm -hmm. crisis uh, situations. So I think that we can harness that expertise uh, better for the, for the membership. I still remember that you said the global crisis response mechanism needs to be strengthened mm -hmm. because the existing mechanism flaws have caused economic distortion. So what kind of mechanism do you think we need? We need more coordination between all these mechanisms that mm -hmm. exist. And second, we need to fine-tune, improve uh, some of the existing finan financing instruments and probably also make them more accessible mm -hmm. so that countries, when they are going to be in trouble, yeah. do not hesitate mm -hmm. to rely on them mm -hmm. and do not fear uh, the reputational issue mm -hmm. that I think at the moment still lingers uh, about and around mm -hmm. uh, when a country comes to a regional financial institution mm -hmm. or, um, or, or the IMF. So I think on mm -hmm. those two fronts we need, to, uh, we need to adjust. And we have a program of um, mm -hmm. adjustments that is in place. Uh, mm -hmm. We will soon be looking at the appropriate size of the IMF and mm -hmm. if the conclusion of the board mm -hmm. is that we should be bigger then we will have to go through another program yeah. of size increase. Mm -hmm. And Mary Lynch uh, has issued a report warning that nowadays the current threats are very close to the situation before the birth of 1908 Plaza Court. So the governors need to adopt the same response. 所谓的广场协议是当时的美国财长詹姆斯贝克日本大藏大臣竹下登联邦德国财长格哈特斯托登伯格英国财政大臣尼格尔劳森法国财长皮埃尔贝雷格瓦于一九八五年九月二十二号
。二十世纪六十年代，美国经济繁荣，大量外国商品，尤其是日本商品涌入美国市场，美元汇率因此出现大幅上升，甚至高达一美元兑二百五十日元。美国出口贸易下降，企业经营困难，失业率飙升。为保护本国企业和工人就业，美国说服日、法、英、西、德共同推动美元汇率下调。广场协议的目的虽然是通过压低美元汇率来帮助美国政府解决国内经济问题，但是不仅没有收到成效，反而给其他国家，尤其是日本经济带来了不良影响。此后，日元以平均每年百分之五的速度升值，日元对美元汇率从二百五十比一升至一百二十比一。在这种情况下，大量外资进入日本，推动股市和房价虚高，形成泡沫经济。为解决这一问题，一九八九年。日本政府开始实行紧缩的货币政策，此后日本经济进入十几年的衰退期，也被称为失去的十年。广场协议的教训是，通过操纵汇率来解决经济问题是损人不利己的事情。Is it possible to carry out a kind of cooperation to stimulate the global economy,、uh, just like the 1985 Plus Accord? I think the situation is vastly different from what it was at the time.、Mm -hmm. uh, I think that history does not really、uh, repeat itself.、Mm -hmm. uh, whatever happens, we will have to assess the situation、mm -hmm. and and take the steps that are needed、mm -hmm. in due course.、Mm -hmm. I think that you know when when policymakers collectively agree that structural reforms are an imperative, that、uh, fiscal tools and space where it exists has to be growth friendly. And made full use of,、mm. uh, and that monetary policy has to be the underlying and strong support of those policies. You already have a pretty strong、uh, set of、mm -hmm. uh, decisions、mm -hmm. that can help、uh, the economy very much. Yeah. Well. So、uh, I'm not I'm not、uh, into Plaza business. Okay. 她跻身福布斯全球最有权势女性排行榜前十名。作为国际货币基金组织的首位女总裁，她带领 IMF 应对欧洲主权债务危机，让中国等新兴经济体拥有了更大话语权。面对当前充满不确定性的全球经济，她如何看待经济学家的危机预言？作为国际协调人的拉加德，又如何看待中国经济在全球经济中所扮演的角色？本期对话：独家专访国际货币基金组织总裁克里斯蒂娜·拉加德，敬请关注。自从拉加德二零一一年上任以来，让中国等新兴经济体拥有了更大话语权。那么，在当前全球经济放缓、金融市场动荡的局面下，拉加德对发展中国家面临的金融风险有什么建议 ？We are seeing、uh, developing countries face. A difficult time for two reasons. One is、um, the commodity prices, which had been high for、um, decades,、yeah. are now down.、Mm -hmm. And I'm, on, I'm not only talking about oil; I'm talking about oil, metals,、um, all sorts of raw materials,、um, and, uh, and, and even food.、Mm -hmm. So, those developing countries that are producing and exporting those commodities are taking a hit.、Mm -hmm. Second,、uh, during the financial crisis,、mm -hmm. they used a lot of their buffers、mm -hmm. in order to resist the financial crisis, and they haven't really had time, or they haven't made the decision to replenish those buffers、um, in order to be stronger today.、Mm -hmm. They are facing a, a difficult time. Our recommendation to them is for those who can who can afford it.、Mm -hmm. Reconstitute buffers, redesign your、um, economic model in order not to be so dependent on the exports of commodities.、Um, be very mindful of your fiscal spending, and refocus that on what will be growth enhancing.、Um, and to those that are really facing hardship because they were predominantly commodity exporters, I say check with us. We have instruments. We have financing that can probably help you go through that、uh, that period. Of time.、Uh, emerging markets,、uh, by very their very definition,、uh, are emerging. That is, they're growing faster. They're becoming more and more developed. And therefore, over a five to ten year、uh, horizon, you would expect emerging markets to contribute disproportionately to global growth. They're also the countries that are going to need、uh, more technical assistance、uh, from. 
bodies such as the IMF and also probably represent uh, some sources of potential instability if they get uh, that process of emerging uh, onto the global stage wrong. China of course is in its own class in terms of being a major uh, emerging market because it's just so big in the global economy. So I think the focus of the IMF uh, on emerging markets uh, and China in particular uh, is entirely appropriate. Apart from leading IMF, what will be the next change or next challenge for you in the future? I hope to be a good grandmother. <laughs> you look so young. <laughs> a very young and talented grandmother. Yeah, why not? You can pass on those talents to the grandchildren. Uh -huh. Have a good time and thank you for you to come to our program. Pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So this is Ni Hao. Merci. Ni Hao, Thank Merci. you. Merci. Oh, you have three kind of languages. Yeah. And would you like to teach the audience how to read what you read, okay? Ni Hao. Ni Hao. Merci. Merci. Thank you. Thank you.